Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, here we go. This video, we are talking about everything you need to know for the Bunker Business Buying Guide and Tutorial 2020 Edition. All right, let's just get right into it, guys. Here we go. So, with the bunker, it's real simple. If you want to purchase a bunker, if you have not already, which I know a lot of you have not, but the bunker business is one of the best passive incomes in the game. And it will tremendously help you with your money grind and your portfolio and get you rich, all right? Just simply pull your phone up, go to the Maze Bank foreclosures, and then scroll up to where it says bunkers, and then you have an option to pick between the bunkers that are here and that you can see. Now listen, there are a couple of bunkers that I would recommend, being the Chumash and the Farmhouse Bunker, and we'll talk all about the pricing. We're gonna talk all about everything, the sales, the vehicles, the raids, everything that you guys need to know for 2020, okay? Now, any bunker will be fine as long as it is below the Alamo Sea, okay? As long as it's south of the Alamo Sea, you are good. There's a couple that are above up in Grape Seed and Polito Bay. I know you get the one for free with the the starter pack or whatever, but do not even upgrade that. You've got to move it further on south. I strongly recommend the Chumash or the Farmhouse Bunker. Those are the, some of the two of the better ones. Chumash would be a really good price for the beginners, and the Bunker is a really good location. It is the most expensive, as you see right there, at $2,375,000. But any one of these bunkers that's up there in the desert right there, anything that's below the Alamo Sea, you'll be good to go. Even the, uh, the Lago or the Fort Zancudo Bunker is okay. But the Fort Zancudo bunker is only $100,000 cheaper than the Chumash bunker. So save that extra 100000 bucks and get the Chumash. All right. So there's, you know, when you buy the bunker, you can customize it. You have cosmetics and then you also have performance upgrades as well. With the cosmetics, you really don't need any of it. You don't need to upgrade anything in there. You can keep it all just the way it is. Uh, the bunker style you get for free. If you want to add a personal quarter, you can. That just means that you can spawn inside that particular location. But you can just adjust your, your spawn location in your interaction menu and you'll be fine. You can spawn outside your bunker pretty much any time. You can add you know, the shooting range, the gun locker, uh, some transportation, stuff like that. But you really don't need to add anything in there, especially if you're just getting started. All right, so keep that in mind. And let me ask you guys a question. With the shooting range, would you guys like me to make a video showing you how to do that? I think Gilly Master made one not too long ago talking about how he's able to carry extra um, sticky bombs. I've made, you know, shooting range videos. I think I've made two of them now already. A couple, you know, when the, the DLC came out and then about a year after that, I showed people how to actually, you know, complete the shooting range. If you want me to make that video again to help you guys out, let me know, man. Uh, you know, because you can absolutely get this done as a console player and it does give you a lot of perks with the shooting range you do get to hold five extra uh throwables you get some cool unlocks so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a comprehensive guide on how to not only complete the the gun range and the shooting range challenges but uh you know all the all the perks that you get with it too let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that all right uh, you got research with the bunker. Research is a pain, and we'll talk all about the research here in just a minute. But there's a lot of different items that you can unlock via research. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. There's not a lot that you need to have. Uh, a lot of the stuff is just, you know, add-ons and things like that. But we'll talk about research in just a little bit. And then you also have the ability to you know sell to make money you could sell you know there's a higher end sale there's a top tier sale and then there's a lower uh, a bottom tier sale and always you want to sell the the max right and then with the research you can either assign your staff to manufacturing or the research or both i never recommend assigning it to both because it just takes so long uh, but that is an option you can do that uh, but, you know, assigning your employee staff and your staff, these are things that you have to upgrade, as you see right here. You upgrade your equipment, you upgrade your staff, and you also have security. And again, we'll talk about all these numbers here in just a moment. And I'll, I'll break this down for you guys and give you all the information you need. But these are things that you have to have day one. You never want to buy a business and then don't upgrade it. You always have to get the upgrades for the equipment and the staff to help you out, okay? So let's recap this and talk about this a little bit more comprehensively here. So selecting a bunker location. I recommend either the Chumash or the Farmhouse location. Those are both really good. The Chumash location is 1650000 by itself, not including the upgrades. The Farmhouse is going to be 2375000 But like I said... 
any location south of the Alamo Sea is going to be good. If you have a, a bunker up in Grapeseed or Polito Bay, do not upgrade those. You need to move those as soon as possible. Relocate further down south. If you have the uh, the Fort Zancudo one, that's okay. But if you're if you're choosing to buy one, skip the Fort Zancudo. Go with the Chumash. It's a hundred thousand dollars more, and it's much closer to your drops and your deliveries. I'm not sure who's telling people to get the the Fort Zancudo one. It, if you already have it, it's fine. But for an extra hundred thousand, if you haven't bought a bunker yet, go for the Chumash location. But I can't stress it enough. Do not upgrade any of the bunkers further north than the Alamo Sea relocate those south of the Alamo Sea, all right? Now let's talk about the upgrades again. You have cosmetic upgrades. The style you either can just get for free, it just comes the way it is, or you can pay to get blue or yellow walls and it's up to $290,000. You have personal quarters that you can add, which just allow you to spawn in that location, which you probably do want to have eventually, but you can skip it up front. That'll add an extra $265,000. You can also add the shooting range, which again, if you guys want me to make a, uh, a guide on this, showing you how to complete this, how to get these done, and what are all the perks, let me know in the comments because I will do that. I haven't made this video. It's been a couple years now since I, I made those initial videos. Uh, so keep that in mind if you need help with that because it is pretty cool. You get some cool features. Let me know. The shooting range will be anywhere between 740 to 845000 depending on what color scheme you go with. There's some carts that you can add in there just to move around. You don't need those. They're 85000 to 120000 Then you have your performance upgrades. These are the upgrades that really do make a difference. This is what you need to go ahead and budget and save. You want to buy everything all at once. You want to buy the bunker and your performance upgrades all at the same time. At least the staff and the equipment. You can hold off on the security, but definitely go for the staff and the equipment as you buy the bunker. That way you're making the max amount of money day one. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to get the bunker that you want, but it is much, much better. It is well worth the wait, all right? Staff upgrade will cost you 598000 The equipment upgrade is going to cost you 1150000 So basically, you're looking at 1650000 adding on to the price of your bunker. So say it's the Chumash bunker. So you're looking at about $3.3 million to get everything is what you want to have. And then yes, you do eventually want to get the security. The security upgrade will cost you $351,000, but you don't have to have it. The bunker is probably the least um, rated business, one of the least rated business. And if you hold true to the certain methods that I teach you guys, you'll never even get rated at all, not even once, all right? Now let's talk about the research. There is a total of 51 total items. Uh, it takes roughly four hours to unlock each item if you put your, your research staff all on the actual researching. If you decide to you know, not make any money and just put all your supplies towards research, it'll take roughly four hours. So that means it's 204 hours to unlock all different items of research, all right? Now you can also fast track the research, which basically means you just pay for it. Each item costs two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars to fast track, so it's a total of eleven million four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. And a quick tip: if you decide you want to fast track, say you get an item that you know because it's all random. If you get an item that, of research that you don't want, you can just close that and retry and see if it gives you something different. That is a possibility. Okay, so keep that in mind. But yeah, that's the numbers right there. The research is a pain, but honestly, there's not much that you really need. There are a few things. There are a few things of the research that you need to have or that you would want to have, but you, it's, they're not mandatory, okay? Let's look at selling here. There's a lot of information, guys, so please pay attention to follow along with this, okay? Let's talk about the number of sale vehicles. Between zero and 25 units of stock, you'll only have one sale vehicle, guaranteed. Between 26 to 50 units of stock or basically half full of inventory, uh, ready to sell, you'll have between one and two vehicles. If it's 51 to 75 units of stock, you'll have two to three vehicles. And if it's 76 to 100 units of stock, you'll have between two and four vehicles. The hardest sales are going to be the dune buggies. Uh, two dune buggy sales is going to be difficult. It is doable, but it is possible that you will fail. I have completely passed it, and I have failed it. It's, it goes both ways. Uh, so if you just pay attention to my methods, I always recommend just buy one round of supplies, and you'll get one vehicle guaranteed. And let's talk about that right now with the profits. Saying if you buy one round of supplies, it'll cost you 75 grand, and you'll end up getting $210,000. It takes two and a half hours to get that filled up. 
and you'll net profit 135000 Now, obviously, it's double money this week, so your profits will be doubled because of that. But that is the method to guarantee one vehicle, especially if you're solo. That'll help out. It'll be very, very beneficial for you if you are a solo player, all right? But feel confident in knowing that the majority of your sales you can get done, all right? Now, a full bunker with upgrades, you can sell between $700,000 to $1,050,000. The $1,050,000 is always the sale you want to make. That's the high-end tier sale. That's what you want to do. And a full bunker with full upgrades will take roughly 12 and a half hours to fill. It's 11 hours and 40 minutes for the stock, but you have to add on an extra 10 minutes, uh, five separate times, equaling 50 minutes to uh, for the supplies to be delivered if you are buying. And it takes $375,000 in total if you are buying supplies to fill up your where your bunker, all right? So let's talk about the bunker raids. This is very important. I get a lot of questions about this, so let me you know bring some light on this and explain how this works. The raid timer countdown starts when you have 50% of inventory or stock ready to sell. When your bunker has got 50% capacity, the timer starts. You have a five hour countdown without security upgrade, okay? So you got five hours, uh, the, the timer starts with no security upgrade. If you do have security upgrades, you now have a 10 hour countdown, all right? And this is how you can avoid being raided. Obviously sell before you get to 50% capacity and you'll never have to worry about a raid or just avoid inactivity or being AFK. You can do missions, you can go AFK inside of missions, that'll help out. And don't be registered as an MC or CEO. And if you are registered as a friend's MC or CEO, you won't get raided there either. So it's real simple. The bunker is very, very easy to manage your raids, okay? So guys, listen, I worked real hard in this video. I did a lot of research. I wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could. If this helped out at all, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely become a member. You can become a member by hitting the join button down below and check out the links that I have in the description down below as well. All the information is there too. This is really good information. I hope this helps out. I really do. And to all the new members coming out here, go ahead and get a bunker. Follow this guide. Check this out. It'll make you a ton of money. Thank you all so much for coming to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus Rules content, the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. And you guys stay dangerous, right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.